I want to show you a tip about placing forms in sheet metal parts. And it's basically that PTC provides a number of pre-configured punch and die forms for you. So here I have a sheet metal part. It's just got one flat planar wall in the model. And if I go to place a punch form on the dashboard, I can click the open button and it takes me to my default working directory. Instead of doing this, you can set a config.pro option to point to the PTC die and punch forms. And so I will click File, Options, Configuration Editor, and I'm going to find an option. So I'll start typing in the word punch. And there's an option, Punch Models Directory. I'll click the Browse button. And I'm going to navigate to where Creo Parametric is installed on my computer. So let me go to Program Files. I use the default location, Program Files, PTC, and I'm in Creo Parametric 4.0. And I'm currently using MO70. Inside of Common Files, there is a text folder. And in there, there's a sheet metal folder. And I'll select the Punch Models directory. Let's click OK add change, close, and I will click OK again. And I'm not going to save it in my config.profile at the moment, but you should. And now when I go to create a punch form, I can click the open button and it takes me to the punch form library, which is now available as a selection from common folders and select the one that I want to use. And so for this first one, uh, let's do a close round louver form inch. You can click the preview button and see what this looks like inside of here. And you can say, oh, you know what? Maybe I don't want to use that one. Let's take a look at this one. Uh, no, maybe we want to use this one. So they provide a number of great ones already in here for you. And I like this one, so I will click OK. And for placing it in the model, on the dashboard, it is using the on-surface coordinate system method to let me tap to the surface I want to use for placing it. And then I've got my offset references. And so you could either grab the green diamonds and drag them where you want, or you can click in the offset references collector and then pick the surfaces that you want to dimension it from. and adjust the values any way that you want. And just to show you some of the other different options that you have in here, a few versions ago they added the ability to rotate about the axis, and maybe I want to change this to 90 degrees. If I go to the Shape tab, here it'll automatically update with any changes to the original model, which I don't plan on changing. And from the Options tab, let me rotate a little bit. Here you see that there are individual surfaces that you can see that highlight when I move my mouse over here. So those are the ones that will be automatically excluded. And you could change the name in the Properties tab. But let's click the check mark, and there I have the form model placed quickly and easily in my sheet metal part. Let's take a look at die forms. And so with the die form, same thing. When I click on the command, I can click the open button and it just takes me to my last folder in this case, which was the punch models directory. Let me cancel out of here. I'm going to cancel out of the feature as well. Go back to file options, configuration editor, and let's click the find button. And I'm going to search on the keyword die. And there's an option, Die Models Directory. Let's browse again, and I don't need to go the full path. I can just go up one folder. And again, it's in the same place as the Punch Forms Directory. If you go to your load point, which on my computer is Program Files, PTC, your Creo version, your Creo build code, then Common Files Text, SMT, which is short for Sheet Metal. Here is the Die Models Directory. 
I will click OK, add change, and OK. And again, you could save it in your config.profile, but I'm not going to do that at the moment. And just like before, we can go to the form command and die form. And this time when I click the open button, you'll notice that I have die form library as a choice under common folders. It's the folder that it automatically goes to. And just like before, I can choose what kind of die form that I want. And with the preview button on here, I can see what it is going to look like. And let's see, which one do I want to use? Not sure what that one is, uh, but let's just use an open flat louver die form. And this model is in inches, so let's do the same thing. Now I'll click open, and just like before, let's pick the placement surface that we want to use. And you can see a preview of the geometry that's being created, and I can activate my offset references collector. For some reason, I prefer that over grabbing the green diamonds. Hold down the control key, select the other offset reference surface. Plug in the values I want to use. And again, let's take a quick look at the dashboard. The basic difference between a punch form and a die form is that a Punch form uses the entire reference model, whereas the die form uses a starting surface to define how much of the reference model is used. And again, we could add rotation about the first axis if we want. Let's plug in 90 like before. From the shape tab, here we have the update. And you see this is where we have the seed and boundary surfaces that are determining how much of the die is being used, or excuse me, the die reference model is being used in order to create this form feature. And the options tab, here you can see that some surfaces are going to be excluded. If I hover my mouse over here, you can see hopefully highlighting in green that it's going to cut out a surface uh, over here and then just hit the check mark and there you can see that we have our die form created so again pretty neat stuff that you already get this from PTC again here you can see my die form and excuse me my punch form over on the right and the die form over on the left I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you.